Hey guys, this is Jamie with PC Monkey. We're bringing you another do-it-yourself computer video today. Uh, today we're working on a Lenovo laptop. Uh, we're going to be showing you how to remove a key safely and how to put it back on safely. The reason why we're doing that, which you probably know, which is why you're here, is because sometimes when a key pops off or it breaks and, and you lose it, it's a lot safer or a lot better in the long run to take a key off of another keyboard and put it on here than it is to replace your entire keyboard. Um, oftentimes the way that they're made, uh, they're not made very securely. So when you rip off your keyboard, you can't get a new one on there very well. It'll, it'll never be as, as secure. So we're going to show you how, how to do that. Uh, we're going to zoom in. We're going to do the letter K. So we'll get you zoomed in. Check out the frequently asked questions in, in the description as well as any uh, related video links. If we notice you guys asking the same questions over and over, um, we'll tend to put them in there. Also, if you're looking for advice on how to do a larger key, like a space key or an enter key, the link will be in the description on the video on how to do those keys on a Lenovo laptop because they look a little different inside. So you're going to need a small flathead screwdriver, smaller the better. Uh, you're going to try to get your screwdriver under the key cap, this top part, but over the retainer clip that's under it. Now watch out for Lenovo's because the retainer clip, uh, it, its orientation under there matters. Sometimes it's oriented so you should go up from the side. Uh, I know for a fact this one I have to go up and down. Uh, so be careful on how to do things. Uh, possibly try to find one on, on your model. But So I'm going to go under the cap, over the clip. And once I think I have it, just peel off your, your cap. Alright, so that came off pretty easily. Put that aside. And as you can see, my screwdriver is holding down this white retainer clip. If I wasn't holding that down, it would try to come up with the cap and it would bend and it would break. The, this plastic's very uh, small and flimsy and easily broken. So as you can see, that's how most retainer clips are going to look. Uh, they'll be white or black and they'll generally have uh, either two metal clips on either corner, so four together, or they'll look like this. They'll have two metal clips on this side and one on the bottom. So what you're going to try to do is uh, slowly but gently pry these out from under there. So I'm going to take my finger and push on the right to try to get as much uh, give as I can and slowly pry these out. So like that and like that. So that came out relatively easily, but it came out in, in two pieces. So let me take these two pieces out and I'll show you how to address that. Okay, we'll move the camera over so you can see these pieces here. So those are the two pieces that came out. These retainer clips are uh, usually in, in two components. One fits into the other, so don't freak out if it comes out like that. Uh, so to put this back on, this is going to fit inside this one. You see it's got two little uh, brackets on either side. Those are going to fit into two holes in this. So a little pain in the butt, but I'm actually glad it, it, it happened so I can show you in, in the video. So that fits in just that easily. So those are back together now. So that's how you would take off a key. Let me show you how to put it back on. So we took off the key the right side first by popping that up. We're just going to go in, in reverse now. So we'll put your key down. We'll get that bottom part in first and secure that part in. And now this part should just press down, just like that. So that was extremely easy putting that in. Yours may not be so easy. This is an older computer, uh, but that's how you would get that back in. And then you take your cap, put it on top, try to eyeball it, center it, and then just press. And then you're good. Got a lot of dirt that came up. Old computer. But that's how you would uh, remove a normal size key safely. And that's how you would put a normal size key back on. Uh, please like and share if this was helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the description. We try to get back to you at least a couple times a day. Uh, and if you enjoy do-it-yourself computer work, please subscribe. Thank you for watching.